All right, guys, me and Joe just worked out to hit a little chest and try. Now, I asked him a few questions. We hit chest first and try. And I was like, do you hit chest first, all chest, and then try? Um, yeah, so I like to hit what's weak first. For me, chest needs more work than tries. Tries have always been something that grows easy for me. So if I throw tries at the end of the workout, you know, I, I know they're not going to suffer so much for chest being already torched. Whereas if I hit, ch if I hit tries first, then, you know, they're going to be hurting chest is going to suffer the weight's going to be lower i'm going to grow slower it's just so you wait for your strength till the end crush your weaknesses first get those out of the way yeah and then same approach to what we did with chest you know where like we started with a upper chest uh -huh. those movements um, the weaker part of the chest so for me upper chest is something that's been you know, tough to grow so mm -hmm. if i hit that first pre-exhaust then hit it incline mm -hmm. um and then move down into the flat bench and you know the the decline press okay now I know a lot of people are here like, they're, they're scrawny, but they're trying to get big and they're like, I'm sick of being small, I'm trying to be a big guy now. What's the number one tip you would give them? I'm, so I'm, I'm six foot. Mm -hmm. um, when I, I was, am too. When I was 16, so 17, graduating high school, I was 150. Right, and today? Uh, today is 235. Um, I got to like 240 within four years there, but it was a dirty bulk. Yeah. But it's just like, it's just time, man. It's time. Like, if so you're getting, patience. Yeah, if you're getting discouraged on like, five eight pounds a year then the sport isn't for you it's, yeah yeah you know it's patience five to eight pounds a year is a great year and you add that up year after year and you're fucking growing but i was so, trying to get like how, how do i get like that in two months you can't, right yeah you can't yeah you can't i love that the number one thing i did i was i was getting ready for a, a chest move or a eating move he just <laughs> goes straight to the mindset patience hit your other goals in between and shit you know like have mm -hmm. a have a soft goal so that you're not like you know, I'm never going to reach this point that I want to be at. Right. Just like set yourself like a like a bench increase. You know, I want to be 180 by the end of the year, something like yeah, that. Yeah. You, you hit those continuously, and then suddenly you're where you want to be. So, how long ha have you been training? I w you'd say seriously in total. The diet. When I started tracking that and like paying attention to that and having somebody else teach me how to do it, that's when noticed it got really general. serious. Yeah. yeah. Longer than five years. And you could still see... Yeah, probably like four years ahead of that. I started yeah, first, but, so nine years, uh, something like that. Because yeah, I'm getting years. people saying yeah. like, oh, I'm not seeing as many results as I did last year. I'm like, this is year two for you. I'm like, we've been doing it for 10 years, nine years. Like, yeah, it takes time. If you're on your journey, my recommendation to you is keep up, keep going on your journey. Never stop. Remember, consistency is key. Thanks, Joe, for a good chest workout, bro. Good luck to the man. Yeah, right.